Okay, so in this problem we have to compare the amplitude of reflection coefficients for an air water interface with that of an air crown glass um, interface, both at near normal incidence. Notice the word near normal incidence. Now, near normal incidence means that uh, the uh, angle of incidence is almost zero, and from Snell's law, it follows that uh, if theta i equals zero, we know that n i sine theta i equals n t sine theta t. Now this is zero, so this whole thing goes away. We know that n t cannot equal zero, which means sine theta t has to equal zero, which makes theta t also almost zero. So theta i and theta t are both zero. So now we go to Fresnel's equations for the amplitude coefficients and if we uh, look at either one of them uh, they, they, they only differ by at, at normal incidence they only differ by a minus sign um, and uh, if I look at them um, for example equation um, you see here um, equation 440 in the textbook says it's equal mt reflection coefficient cosine theta i. Uh, this uh, these two lines parallel, meaning uh, this is the case where the uh, electric field is uh, parallel to the plane of incidence. Minus n i cosine theta t over the same thing but positive ni cosine theta t plus nt cosine theta i Now, uh, so this is one of Fresnel's equations. Now, if the uh, angles approach zero, their cosines go to one. So all these can go away, and we can get this to be nt minus ni over ni plus nt. So now if I consider the case for, uh, what's the first one, air water. air water so we have r parallel is equal to so uh, we're transmitting through uh, uh, water here so uh, four thirds minus one over four thirds plus one so what's that uh, one third over five thirds so that's one fifth or with three seven seven thirds uh, one seventh one seventh which, which is almost 0 0.14 and of course our perpendicular will be the same except uh, there's a minus sign and that has to do with the fact that the electric field uh, lags by 180 degrees it flips direction uh, and so that would be uh, an i minus nt over an i plus nt so this will just be minus 0 0.14 so uh, uh, in this case they're the same when you have uh, uh, you know the, 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 when theta t is almost zero the plane of incidence uh, is no longer specific um, so um, uh, the amplitude reflection coefficients in that case will be uh, the same with, a, with an exception of a minus sign. Okay, so uh, for the uh, air crown glass, we have uh, the same thing. So that would be... Uh, what is it? Three halves. 
3 halves minus 1 over 3 halves plus 1. So we will get what's this? Uh, 1 half over 5 halves, which is 1 fifth. Uh, 1 fifth. Uh, so that's what 0 0.20 and our perpendicular is 0 0.20 All right okay and now the second part of the question uh, so basically you get more refraction through the current glass than uh, the water Okay, the second part of the question is what are the corresponding ratios of the reflected to the incidence irradiances? Uh, now, again, this is one of the equations uh, dealing with irradiances. We know that the ratio is. Uh, second, let me find the equation. Uh, I think it's just the ratio of the amplitudes of the electric fields, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's uh, R is equal to uh, IR times the area cosine theta R divided by I incident the radiance i is the radiance a is the area and those are the angles now we know that if they're uh, zero these things go to one the area is the same so it cancels out so we get i r over i i okay uh, which again is also equal to the ratio of the like i said the electric field amplitudes squared Um, and um, this is the same exact thing as r squared, and we already found what r is. Uh, so you could, you know, you could do it either way. So um, for air water. Uh, R is the reflectance uh, that's what the ratio of the reflected to the in, uh, incident irradiance is it's the reflect reflectance uh, how much of that is reflected uh, for uh, per unit incidence so to speak okay so this is uh, R uh, we already had 1 over 7 so we just square it since R is 1 over 7 and we get 0 0.02 so about 20 percent reflectance and uh, for air crown glass same thing uh, one what was it one over five yeah, yeah. squared so that's one over 25 which is 0 0.04 so more so there's four percent two percent sorry not twenty percent on the first one two percent second one four percent so we have more reflectance on the air crown glass than the air water interface so yes this answer and then here we had a few answers we have this or this boxing the answers there we go that does it for this question